if you want to manage your prospects list for a campaign you have in AO response for each campaign you have in AO response you have to be sure that you are logged in the right campaign I'm logged now in the default campaign I want to manage the list in AO1 campaign I click go to AO1 I am logged now in the campaign named AO1 and I want to work with my list of prospects I click prospects now we are in the managing prospects area where AO response has important feature to help you increase your business potential. If we click active prospects, we reach to the list of active active prospects you have in in the AOP response. Only active prospects, because we will have also a removal list and also the mailing list, which will show us all the prospects, active and inactive. But the active prospects list will show us the active prospects who. Uh, sign up to your HTML form on your page on your uh, site and they confirm the inside link and in the first email they receive the, the confirmation email, the opt-in email and they are added to your autoresponder cycle to receive follow-ups. What you can do in this area it is deleting by checking a person and then hitting delete this prospect it is deleted from your active prospects list. Also you can export active prospects in an Excel file just clicking this link and we'll open the download window and you can save them in your computer. What you can do more it is clicking the link of a, uh, the name of a prospect you will receive some more details about that prospect. You reach in an area where you get more details about your prospect. The name and the email are set by default to be added and extracted from uh, your prospect in the HTML form that will be on your site or on your page. But when you add to your HTML form additional fields to get more um, details about your prospect, more info, those details will be listed here at the details. Let's say you want to find if your prospect loves uh, a certain MLM type and you will ask, uh, you will have uh, an additional field asking uh, what type of MLM do you like most. Your prospect may answer uh, skin products. Then his answer will be listed here at additional details which will be more details about your prospect you can use later. Now, adding prospects. Adding, pr adding prospects, it is a, uh, a sensitive area for AOP response because AOP response it is a double opt in autoresponder. We respect every legal rule regarding anti spamming. So, uh, being a double opt in means uh, the prospect have to, has to um, fill the HTML form to subscribe to your um, site, but also has to confirm the opt-in email by clicking the link inside the system is sending an opt-in email this is set by default to be sent to your prospects as part of our uh, policy of anti-spamming so in this area you can manually add prospects by name by email and filling an any other info you have about this prospect but you must be sure that you have their permission. This means you will uh, fill these fields and uh, click adding prospect. The system will send them an opt-in email. In this way, if they click the link inside, the prospect will be added to your list and you are safe and secure that you respect the anti-spamming rules. This protects you, first of all, and then protects us. If you want to add this prospect to your autoresponder cycle for receiving follow-ups, then you will click before add, uh, clicking add prospect, you will uh, check this option, send autoresponder messages to your newly added prospect. And when you click add prospect, that prospect after will confirm the receiving um, your data, your um, info, Will, uh, will be added to your autoresponder cycle to receive the follow-ups. If you don't check this, it might not uh, be added. Uh, you will have just uh, a prospect to your list 
but not uh, receiving the autoresponder messages. Now, the mailing list. The mailing list, it is the place where you have all your prospects active and inactive prospects listed together. Here you uh, have the option to delete, check the prospect, delete selected prospects or also you have the option and I will show you. Let's check Peter here and check remove from active prospects only. You have the option to remove them from active prospects, make them inactive but not delete from your list. Just set them as inactive. They will not receive your um, follow-ups. When you do this, check check here, just hit the select selected prospects and this one, Peter, will show now inactive instead of active. What you can do more is uh, accessing from here the prospect details the same we saw in active prospects you can access prospect details from this mailing list by clicking the prospect name also if you want to check for another prospect for a specific person you can search for a prospect by date of joining by name or by email and click search